ว้าว
but this one's a bookmark and it says In The Reads on the back, which is a company that maybe produces lots of nice magical items. Is this wood? It's actually wood as well, like really thin wood, which has been printed and then it's got the design of the night bus ticket on it. So I take that back. This isn't the same as something I've got. It's just got the same pattern. <gasps> that is really nice. And you can actually see, you probably can't see, but I can see that in the background, the wood is actually showing through. What a unique idea. And you can follow them here. <gasps> a mug. Now I have a lot of mugs, but I give each mug individual chance. And I have given away some at Car Boot recently. So I have moved for a new one. Let's have a look at it. My dear, you have the Grim, and then on the back, we have the Grim. That's cool. It's really nice, actually. The mug itself is, uh, I don't know how to describe it. It's like a matte finish, so it's not your usual kind of shiny mug. I didn't know if I expected the Grim to be in the cup or on the cup. Obviously, it'd be quite cool to have it inside. So we've got the swirly writing on that side, and then the Grim on the other. That's perfect for tea, love it. Another bubble wrapped item. Love a bit of bubble wrap, or maybe not for the environment, but we love it. Ooh, is this butterbeer? Ooh, wow. Look how cute that looks. I mean, it actually looks like butterbeer, and that's what's excited me the most. We've seen products which are brownie color, but we have not seen any with this whipped kind of look on top. So it says coconut apricot wax flitwicks butterbeer. It's a candle that actually looks like butterbeer. Yes, that is too cute to burn though. I mean, look at it at the top. That's like the cutest prop ever. It's going to be in so many Instagram photos now because it looks like a tiny cup of butterbeer. This pin is a lot better than last month's. It wasn't that, it wasn't a nice pin, but it just wasn't my favorite design. This one I much prefer, and it's one of my favorite magical creatures, Buckbeak. Look at that, oh, it's so perfect. It's a ooh, hard enamel, I think, pin, and it's got a nice big clasp on the back. I don't have any Buckbeak merch. I feel that they don't do enough of it. I've seen the toy at the studio tour, but I've never actually bought it, and this pin is just gonna look so cute on my pin board. It's going straight up, straight up, very cute a kind of overview here look how much you get guys there's loads almost dropped that then espresso patronum whipped soap so this is a kind of body scrub which i don't think you need to kind of like wipe off let's do the smell test i'm gonna be honest don't like coffee and it smells like coffee but it also smells a bit like Ferrero Rocher. So I can't make my mind up if I like that smell or not, but I will use it because it looks really good. It looks really, oh, okay, yeah, really soft actually. That's the kind of skin test for you. Feels really nice. Yes, that's definitely going to be used. And it does smell like Ferrero Rocher, I've decided. It's made by the same company that last month brought us the Oh, was it the Liquid Luck? I mean, that was really nice and smelled amazing. Like it smelled for so long, I put on the tiniest bit and it would like stink out in a good way, the room. I'm like 50-50 there. I'm like, that kind of smells like coffee, but it also smells like chocolate. It's meant to be coffee and vanilla. And I like the name, Espresso Patronum. Is this what I think it could be? This will be interesting, guys. It's rolled up in a tube. We know one item that definitely comes from the Prisoner of Azkaban, which is a very integral part to the story. No, so this is not the Marauders map, which I anticipated it would be, but even better because it's a map that most of us wouldn't own. It's a map of Hogsmeade. <gasps> wow. Look at that. That is stunning. I'm well happy with this. It's got all of the shops in Hogsmeade labelled. I don't even know what half of those shops are. I was only aware of a certain few. And it's on this really nice paper that's parchment feel, feels nice print quality, and something that's similar to the Marauders map, but completely different. Wow. That is definitely one of my favourite items in the box so far. 
it's super unique never been in a subscription box as far as i'm aware there's even a hairdressing salon how amazing is that i'm gonna study this a lot later is this um oh, yes i think well it's marauders map we can see that on the back it's got the marauders map messes mooney wantel pamphlet and prongs are proud to present where it actually says offer their compliments to professor snape and request that he keep his abnormally large nose out of other people's business and it's got the ask box written on the bottom it's felt lined which is very nice and it appears to be i'm guessing something to hold your ipad or tablet that's what i would use it for it could be used for many different things though so you don't really have to stick to a certain type of object to put in there it's just a handy storage thing i love this look at this guys it's the time turner and it is a to-do list that is such a good idea the blue makes me extremely happy it's got a lovely cartoon version of the time turner up here anything time turner and i'm obsessed and it says so much to do so little time with loads of space to write stationery is like the best thing ever I love stationery, but things like this really help you to focus on what needs to be done in a day. I'm probably going to get straight to work on this. And we have, is this a canvas bag? Is it a t-shirt? No, it is, and I haven't read it myself yet, a pillowcase. It looks very large. I'm not sure if this is too large for my pillow, but it's workable either way. It says, <laughs> For in dreams, we enter a world that is entirely our own. Let them swim in the deepest ocean or glide over the highest cloud. So that could work with pretty much any bed set because you, it's white, it's black, it works. And it's really nice. It's a lovely quote to put on your bed. And it's one of those subtle potter items that we all love. People who don't read the books wouldn't know what that meant. They would have just thought, oh, that's a nice quote. But for us, we know what book that's from. And I'm definitely going to put that on my bed if I can, but I do think it's going to potentially be a little bit too big. I love the fact though, that they put a pillowcase in the box because that's not something we've ever seen before. And it definitely is a bit different to a t-shirt. We have a potion with little lavender kernels in there. And it says Aconite. Aconite is known by different names such as Monkshood and Wolfsbane. Aconite is used to create the Wolfsbane potion. The leaves in their pure form are very poisonous. That's a really nice bottle and one to add to my little potion collection. I'll probably put that on the purple shelf. I'm loving collecting items for each coloured shelf. Tea. I've become absolutely obsessed in the last few months with flavoured teas. I used to not like them, we know that from last year. I reluctantly tried them and then I kind of got used to them. And then I became a green tea fan and now I drink all kinds of weird teas and I'm loving it. So now we have Lupin's chocolate tea, which is definitely one that's been done in another box, but not in this box. I want to open it, but I also don't want to spill it. Oh, it's got tape on it. It smells really nice and these tins are really cute. It actually says on it as well that you can mix the ingredients with hot water or warm milk. So you can make it into a hot chocolate or tea, which gives it a whole new level of coolness and a really fun idea. So you can try it in different ways. It's also got a generous helping of chocolate chips and cocoa nibs, and it will help ward away the dementors. So we have three things left. They look kind of like prints. First one we've got here looks to be a lovely illustration of Harry and Hermione with their Patronus or Harry's Patronus warding off. Well, it's actually the scene where he sees his mum and dad, I believe. That is a really cute design. There's lots of Dementors in the background, lots of detail, and it looks like a watercolour. This print is by Trillings and Tattings, and it's of one of my favourite things from the book of movie, the Monster Book of Monsters. I always wanted one, and I still do really want a cuddly one or a toy of it. It's something I've wanted since I was about nine, still haven't got it. 
But anyway, this print is amazing. It looks just like him. It looks hand drawn. Yeah, the drawing is really, really nice. It's labeled just like you would do in Care of Magical Creatures class, where you would say about the different characteristics of the animal or magical creature. So it looks like something you would actually write in your textbook. I'm loving that and the kind of shadowy design of what it looks like when it's snapped open. We have the Marauders. I had to look at that for a while there. We have the Marauders in their animal form. This again is a beautiful design, it looks like watercolour as well. They're very artistic, all of these prints, and different to anything you'd be able to buy. If you'd look at that, you wouldn't necessarily know it was Potter, unless you're a true fan where you can see the Whomping Willow and the four creatures together. That is amazing. What a great selection of prints. So that was again a great box. Second box I've had from the Azza box and it was fantastic. Now we have got a list of 16 items that I came with, lots of paper items, but also lots of physical items. You get a lot of value for money there. So let's quickly go through them. We've got the personalized Hogsmeade letter, the Hogsmeade map in the reeds, Azkabox exclusive, Butterbeer mug candle, one of my favorites, Time Turner notepad, again, one of my favorites, Fable and Black, I have heard of them. They make really cool stuff. Lupin's Chocolate Tea, Azkabox Blend, Aconite Potion Bottle, Ingredients Bottled by the Azkabox, Marauder's Map Book Sleeve, there we go, Book Sleeve or iPad Sleeve, any of the above, Bus Ticket Wooden Bookmark by In The Reads, Grim Coffee Mug, oh I loved that, Microwave and Dishwasher Safe, good to know, uh, Monster Book Infograph Print by Twillings and Tattings, Espresso Patronum Coffee Whipped Soap from Alchemy for the Skin, Marauder's Print by Liz F. Cabello, Cabello, and Dreams Quote Pillow Cover, Neville's Lost Passwords, and Expecto Patronum Print. I'm going to choose my favourites now, which has become a tradition on this channel. I'm a bit stuck today. There's quite a few favourites that I have. I'm going to have to whittle it down. So my top favourite today is my Hogsmeade print followed by my time turner list pad. I'm gonna have to stop there. I do have other favorites, but otherwise I'm gonna start listing the whole box, but also this. My least favorite, controversially, and there isn't anything that I dislike in this box. I'm just thinking of items that I would use and I get the most excitement about. And this one is great, but for me, I think it's a little bit too big for a book. Maybe that's just me, maybe it's not. I don't think I'll probably end up using it, so I may give this away at some point, I do love the Marauder's Map print. That's just my opinion, guys. Let me know in the comments down below which item was your favourite and which you would be without, because it's always good to know and get a bit of feedback on what items are the best in subscription boxes. If you are new around here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future uploads. I will see you again soon for another fun video, and I hope you enjoyed this month's unboxing. See you very soon. Bye.